But first, let's talk game day safety. Yeah, today the university talked about how it plans to protect fans as well as enforce the law. 10 TV reporter Kevin Landers explains what you need to know before you enter the shoe. This is the first football season where recreational marijuana is now legal. And if you plan on bringing it to the stadium, Ohio State Police has a message for you. The kickoff to the Ohio State football season is just days away. And if recreational marijuana is part of your game day ritual at the stadium, Ohio State University police say they plan to turn the lights out on that idea. Can you explain in clear detail what the laws are in terms of how you will enforce people who may want to bring uh, recreational marijuana to a tailgate outside the stadium or maybe even in the stadium? Well, smoking inside the stadium is banned. Um, so you can't smoke inside the that tobacco, recreational marijuana, you can't do it outside. You know, the normal rules of the Ohio Revised Code apply. Game time is meant for football. It's not time for drone photographers to get a bird's eye view of the stadium. Police say drones are prohibited. So we do have drone detection, so if someone put a drone up in the air anywhere on campus, we're going to know about it. For fans driving to the game, remember that Cannon Drive is no longer a public thoroughfare. Cannon Drive is limited to those with West Stadium parking passes. Access to the lot is from the north and the south. If there's no longer that Cannon Drive S curve is gone. It is one large parking lot. Law enforcement will not only be monitoring traffic, but the air above the stadium to guard against any terrorism. And we have uh, air monitoring devices set up around the stadium, so we just have constant ability to see what the air quality is like. As in years past, fans will continue to pass through metal detectors before entering the stadium, and the no bag policy remains in effect. Small bags will be permitted. Parking prices will remain cashless and prices range from $25 to $30 at the parking lots. Ohio State is not a DORA, a designated outdoor refreshment area, meaning technically you're not allowed to drink alcohol in the parking lot. OSU police say if you're caught drinking and causing problems, you could face a $100 fine. Outside the Ohio Stadium, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, thank you, Kevin. Now, the head of concessions says prices will remain the same as last year and alcohol sales will continue to be cut off at the end of the third quarter. All right.